Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new uh, Red Mic 142 video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all how to download uh, and get all, everything ready, basically, to make your own data banks. This is part one of how many ever there is going to be. Uh, so we're going to start by just getting everything ready. Uh, so by the next uh, part, you'll be able to keep along and make your very first thing. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to download is uh, bridge hyphen core, well, bridge core actually, uh, version 1.8.3 for me. Um, by the time you're watching this, it could be more, or um, yeah, it, you could still be on the same version. So what you want to do is click on the link in the description. It'll take you here now. Uh, you want to download the version for you. I'm going to be downloading the DMG one. Uh, but uh, it says mac.zip here, um, but I can't actually get that one to work on a Mac. So, yeah. <laughs> so, I'm going to be downloading the DMG. And then the same on uh, Sublime Text. There will be a link to this website down below. And download the version for you, Mac OS, Windows, or Linux. I'm going to be downloading the Mac OS one for obvious reasons. Okay, so they have downloaded, so we are now going to head to our downloads and we are going to open these up and we're going to uh, basically run it. So Bridge has now done it, so we're going to drag that over into our applications and that is now done. Uh, subline text uh, expanding is here. We're going to drag that into our applications. We can now get rid of these downloaders and I accidentally unzip that twice. Uh, so that is that done. Uh, the next thing I would recommend for you guys to do is to uh, get a clean like desktop or something and create a new folder and just call this packs because uh, you're going to be messing about. You're going to want some packs that you want to keep, some packs that you don't. And it's just helpful to keep everything in one place like your generic pack icons, maybe even a generic manifest. Uh, but we'll get more on manifest later. So, yeah, let's get straight into starting your first pack. We're going to open Bridge. Now, I know I said that we weren't going to make anything uh, today, but um, basically this here is just going to show you like how to get the manifest, all the generic stuff going, uh, and then we'll sh I'll walk you through like the recipes, everything else. Uh, so I've already got one here, but we're going to hit New Project here, um, and we're going to give it a name. Uh, so this is just going to be my generic one, uh, so I'm just going to call it something generic. Now, obviously you would put something different in either one of those, um, but this here is just to show you the beginning part, um, because, you know, we just want to get that done, and then you can just do this before all of the rest of the parts, and that will get you ready for it. We're going to select our version, so 1.17, although I'm running 1.17.1, it should, uh, no, point thirty something, uh, it should work. This here is for Minecraft Bedrock Edition, by the way. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to hit Create. So that has created our generic thing. Uh, so we can now hit Open in Explorer. Now, it's in our development behavior packs, um, but you can move it out of there if you want into your packs folder, um, but it kind of depends if you're going to want to be testing it like we are, so we're going to just leave it there. Uh, and something I forgot to mention uh, earlier is you want to um, kind of drag that onto the edge here to put it there so it's easily accessible. And we also want to get our com.mojang folder uh, on the edge there. Now for Windows, I think you have to go to your search bar and put percent app data percent and search that and then go to com.mojang. But for Max, it's op uh, click on go, hold option. And when you hold option, library pops down. You want to click on that. Application support. Uh, and then you want to work your way through. Uh, so games until you get to com.mojang. And we're going to drag that on the side to make it easy to get to our development behavior packs. So let's work on the generic stuff um, that is uh, put into all of the packs that we'll do in the future. Okay. So the first thing we want to work on is the pack manifest. So we're going to click on these arrows to put just everything down for now. 
Uh, so what we want to do is we want to click on pack name and then let me just make this full screen for you guys. It will pop up down here and you want to select all of that and change that to whatever you want and then hit the plus and that will change the name to generic and then under description I'm going to put this as made by red mic 142 um, but you can put whatever you want in the description, maybe even what the pack's about, although I normally put that in the title. Now, they will automatically make a generate a random UUID, so we don't actually need to worry about that. Now, we don't need to worry about any of this uh, stuff down here. Uh, we're not getting into any of that. Now, you can get rid of a generated with um, part if you don't want it to be there. I'm just going to leave it there uh, for now. Next thing is the pack icon. So we're going to hit open in Explorer. And we're going to open up this folder. And there's the pack icon. So if you right click it and hit rename. And copy all of that. Then you can get rid of that. And you can find an image that you want uh, to go there. And uh, yeah, you just rename it that exact thing. And then drag it in. I just have this photo on hand. So I'm going to do this one here. Um, I would recommend duplicating it if you want to keep it, um, but uh, yeah, make sure that you have it not with a copy. Uh, so that is now that. Now you can open this here with subline text and you can check it through um, like what, you know. So when we hit save, it will change those. Uh, when we hit save and bridge, so if we do file and then save file. So it just took a while to save and there it is. So the name is generic. You can change it here as well if you want. Also that and uh, this is where you can, you can change your UUID and you can get rid of the generated by and stuff. Uh, so let's close out of that. So and the pack icon is here as well. We should be able to see that in bridge. There you can see it. Uh, it won't show here but you can see it in the top there. And that's how we'll look for everyone. So that is that done. And guys, I forgot to mention, uh, this is after recording, um, is when I said the pack icon wouldn't show up down here, you just need to close it up the top here and then reopen and it will have changed. So we don't actually need the text unless you want to change anything, but we're just I'm just uh, going to leave that as it is for now. And functions we don't need either. So that is how to do the generic stuff. So we've got the, we've got the manifest here. Uh, we've done the pack icon. You can't, you won't be able to see it here. Uh, so when you, once you've edited it on that, it will say it looks like it was edited. Um, so just click on either one. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't affect anything. It's just wondering whether you actually want to open it on your desk or on a cache. But it doesn't change how it looks, and it doesn't change how it saves either. So yeah, that's how to do the generic stuff. Uh, so uh, next. Part, you will see how to make your own custom recipe like I did for block SMP I made him a spore blossom recipe uh, so yep see you guys uh, next time uh, to see how to make your first recipe and then we'll move on from there